Welcome students in my new tutorial. Last time I have just taught you about the frame tool. Just two points were left in that. So I just want to cover that points in this tutorial. Suppose I had made one frame here. Uh, on the top the options are there. I have selected the circle one. Use the mouse to create a new elliptical frame. I have just selected. Now I want to paste one image. Suppose this image I want to paste here. So you could see here, uh, this image is small. So uh, I can always press Control T and then just drag it just to make the image bigger and then select the part whichever I feel like is okay. Like this and then press Enter key. And then with the Move tool, now you can move it like this. Control T again, I can press and then I can move. Uh, yes, okay. So with Control T, I can adjust all the adjustments which are important for the image to be in this elliptical shape. Then enter key. Then again, I'll take one new shape. Uh, that means frame tool. I'll select again one circle elliptical and again I'll make one circle here and new image I'll try to put here now. This is small. I'll just select this image. I can double click it and then Control T. And then after pressing Control T, I can make the image bigger like this and then press Enter key. And then with the help of Move tool, I can like it is selected outer part. If I'll select the whole image, will move. So I hope this is clear. This point was left in my earlier tutorial. So. I just covered these points in this tutorial and along with this tutorial now I just want to teach you some other adjustments so just make sure that this layer 0 should be selected and then go to image adjustments and uh, this time I want to teach you about uh, color balance control B this is also a great tool to adjust the color of an image I will click here and this kind of color balance dialog box comes in front of you. Now actually it also works within these three colors uh, cyan, magenta, yellow and here it is red, green, blue. So it's simple but along with this tone balance is also their shadows, mid tones and highlights. By default mid tones is being selected. Now what's the major difference? Shadow actually works for the darker areas like these are the darker areas of the image. Mid-tones means either that part is not that dark or either it is not light and highlights works with the lighter parts like sky or clouds. So I'll show you the difference. Suppose I click on, now by default mid-tones are there. I'll show you the difference with each and every setting. So firstly with CN, just see how it's changing and the changes is been done only in the layer 0 that you know very well ok I hope this is clear only I am using the red and cyan just see how the difference it is now the same thing I want to use with shadows now see the difference only the darker areas will be affected the darker parts like this wooden part wherever the darker shades they will be affected more and then the highlights now if I move the highlights the same thing I am moving red and cyan just only the lighter parts will have the more effect so I hope this concept is also very much clear so you can play around with all these three and nice color effects you will have yellow Okay, so I'll click on cancel. I don't want to do any changes here. Another, I want to teach you about photo filter. Again, this is a great option. Just it is a kind of a photo filter means like suppose you are seeing with your specs and you put a colored sheet, transparent sheet. So you'll be able to see that color more. 
in that picture like colored goggles you are using the same way so i am using suppose color suppose i am making it to red now you see the changes uh, i am increasing the density you see how it looks great effect it is giving and here from the density you can control how much red color you want now instead of this i want to give uh, like yellow color you see here blue color see like this so i hope this all these options which i taught you with the adjustments is clear and today we have covered photo filter and then color balance the one option is more black and white although you can use alt shift plus control plus b alt shift control plus b if you are clicking it it will make it to black and white you see everything is in black and white now uh, by default it is showing like this and then again you have the options here and from here also blue filter darker green filter so the image is black and white but it is giving you high contrast images infrared just see nice textures nice effects lighter maximum black maximum white you can just try it or you can just play with this markers here colors color markers just to have the effect okay so sometimes this option is also beautiful just to convert your image into black and white either you can use uh, control u always i have taught you earlier from here also you can just uh, move your saturation but here you don't have the option to make your image more darker uh, that means brighter there you were having all these options so now with this uh, tool i am completing my tutorial and if you like my explanation then please do like share and comment and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it okay bye bye take care wait for my next tutorial